The DND has confirmed that it is closer to finalizing a deal with Sweden for the procurement of at least 12 multi-role fighters worth PHP 61 billion. No model was mentioned by DND spokesman Arsenio Andalong, but Sweden has been confirmed to be offering the Jazz 39C D Gripen to the Philippine Air Force. In addition, TV5 reported that the DND has earmarking PHP 400 billion for 49 new Mutlerol fighters over the next 10 years as approved under the Rehorizon 3 phase of the revised AFP modernization program. Since TV5 already posted something about this, let me correct the figures based on the actual approved Rehorizon 3 program. The budget is slightly higher than PHP 400 billion for less than 49 fighters, although it would depend on how the DND would negotiate. It can potentially be more than what was planned, even potentially reaching 49 units or even more depending on how much savings can be made and the intention on using the savings. Also, the PHP 400 plus billion is not for fighters alone. It will also include ammunition and construction of support F facilities. We do not think changes would be made on the approved Rehorizon 3 plan but what we can just say is TV5 almost got it right. Maybe the numbers was just a typo error. Yesterday, the Swedish Embassy to the Philippines released this statement that shows that both countries ratified the Memorandum of Understanding or MOU on Defense Cooperation, contrary to what has discussed previously that aligns to the multi-role fighter jet acquisition projects, limbo, situation, as indicated in the recent report from the Department of National Defense, DND. In context, we made reports that also came from that same DND report that the status of the multi-role fighter jet acquisition project is still awaiting MOU from Sweden. This may give some indication that the delay does not point to the Swedes themselves, but rather on the part of the Defense Department as the MRF project still waits for a special allotment release order or SARO release before it gets awarded. However, the awarding of the project to Saab still depends on the ever-changing requirements of the Department of National Defense, who is now pulling more fighter aircraft under the Rehorizon 3 phase, of which is discussed previously on the website and in this page, are pointing to EDU F-16s under the US Security Sector Assistance Roadmap, and even third-party sources like Denmark. With this in mind, all it takes now is the release of SARO documents from the Department of Budget and Management or DBM for the Multi-Role Fighter Jet Acquisition Project and see which one the Department of National Defense awards at this point, with the Jazz 39 Gripen at the advantage given its price point and offer of at least 14, 14 aircraft. This runs in contrast with the DND's procurement monitoring report covering July to December 2023 and published on the 4th of January 2024 which stated the ratification of the MOU was still pending. It is understandable that an award of the deal to Saab or Swedish Ministry of Defense cannot happen within 2023 due to lack of funds. But with fresh funds for the AFP modernization program pouring for FY2024, the DBM SH pool would be ready to release a SARO to finance the initial payment required to start the contract. But as of this writing, the SARO has not been released yet. In a nutshell, Sweden is saying that the ball to award the MRF acquisition project to Saab is with the PAF, DND and DBM. It now remains to be seen whether SARO can be immediately available, since the introduction and approval of RAF PMP Phase Rehorizon 3 took place in December 2023, with different budgets and quantities for multi-role combat aircraft. Speaking of Rehorizon 3, it is still unclear if the new MRF acquisition project under Rehorizon 3 would be implemented under a single deal contract, or will be composed of several deals contracts spanning different aircraft models or variants. It is now impossible for Saab and Sweden to supply more than 14 new Jazz 39C Gripens since they only have 14 left in their factory before production shifted to the newer, slightly larger Jazz 39E F Gripen. This would not be a problem if the DND decides to do multiple contracts for the fighters and bring in the older Jazz 39C D Gripen to fulfill what was supposed to have been fulfilled under the Horizon 2 phase. But if the DND decides to award the entire requirement to a single manufacturer, then Saab could be facing two situations. Either Saab and Sweden wins the entire project but supplies either all Jazz 39E, F or a mix of the 14 JAS 39C, D and the rest with the newer Jazz 39E, F, 
Also, despite Saab already selected internally by the DND and PAF for the Horizon 2 MRF acquisition project, there are indications that the DND and PAF are reworking the project, although we are not exactly sure as to what they plan to do. What we do know is that there are renegotiations happening now just with Saab, but with several other fighter aircraft manufacturers and not just the F-16 Vipers manufacturer Lockheed Martin.